Hello everyone. Welcome back to the stream. Uh yeah, sorry, I I remember to change uh uh Tears of the Kingdom to Treasure Planet in the description, but forgot to change the game. Um anyway. Welcome in, welcome in. Uh today, uh obviously more treasure planet. Um I want to switch this up. I think it's time for a new shirt. Let me see here. How about... Uh, okay, I know. Let's do away and then there we go perfect it's beautiful all right um yeah so i'm just gonna hop into it i wanted to start a little sooner but there were some things i needed to take care of um so let's hop on over that might be a little loud Okay, that should be fine. Let me know if that's too loud. It might be. That might be a little bit better. Hey, Colt. Yeah, if the game doesn't sound loud enough or, or sounds too loud, please, please let me know because I'm not 100% sure what it sounds like to you guys. In fact, I'm wondering if it's a little quiet. Okay, how's that? Is that too loud? Or is that, like, still just fine? That sounds okay on my end. It's good? Alright, perfect. Okay, so... My plan today is to not necessarily finish a run. Um, I need to practice. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically do my best to run the route. Um, my main goal is to just, just to brush up on my early game. Because um, late game I've got to get good at anyway. But I really need to work on uh, execution of my early game. Um, most specifically, the uh, hey. the oh. Solar Surfer levels. So this isn't going to be super fast or anything. I should probably do the splits anyway. Do the splits. Is it not running? Hang on. Shit. It's not running. There we go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and skip. Well, I'll, I'll okay, I'll I'll skip uh, cliff tops when I get out of here since I didn't start this on time. Gold trap loons, lad. A spacefarer's most treasured possession. Collect around hundred of them. Then use ten and be in sync. And you'll activate another beacon. Does the game look in sync, or is it just the menus? Damn it. Uh, it's still so sloppy. Uh, so sloppy. Oh, come on. Yeah, no, this is, uh, uh, this is why I need practice. I also haven't played it in a couple days. I need to just be practicing even if I'm not on stream, honestly. Punch, Jim. James. Menus tend to be a lot louder or a lot quieter than the actual game. That I can probably take care of. Um. 
The well, of night. well, I thought that maybe UI would be one of these, but I'm, I might be, that might be wishful thinking. Gimbo, wherever you roam, collect enough of them, and it's a beacon you'll be getting. Uh, my own, my own, the, the my own route on the on the first level is getting sloppy. I really, I really need to practice. Otherwise, I'm not. This this is not happening. I I I got my first time up on the board, so I'm official. I'm on, I'm in second place. Um, but damn it, I'm not. I gotta I gotta keep the practice on, even if I don't plan on streaming. Even just a little bit of practice. That's good. I've been meaning to work on that jump and fuck that up while I'm at it. Uh, I was worried that wasn't gonna happen. I like, uh, dragged on that rock for a second. Chase that dream, kitten. Mr. Vingus Gingus. I will, kitten bitten. Kitten, kitten mitten. Thank you so much for the 34 months. I'm always glad to have you here. Okay, so I will skip as soon as I remember. Okay, skipping now. The other thing I, I need to work on is uh my my segment times mostly lurking because i'm playing diablo with wife but believe in uh, i believe in you and i'm cheering for you thank you so much kitty curiosity uh hang on oh that was perfect I need that to happen more often. Shit. Except, no, I need that to happen less. Sorry, Colt, I'll, I'll look at your message in just a sec. Okay, this is the other big thing I need to practice. This this first skip to get the dribbloons without having to go through another lap. This is my biggest enemy in this first section. And there it is. Great. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Ugh. Please. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> I've never died like that before. What the fuck? No, please. Oh, come on, please. James.
There we go. No, come on. Ugh, dude. I don't even know. I don't even know. I keep practicing this jump, but I just can't get it. I can't get it consistent. This is shot. <laughs> anyway. Out of curiosity, if there was to be a story for the levels in this game, what kind of story do you think would be fitting for the Crescentia levels? Uh, if there was to be a story for the levels in this game. You mean like if there was a... Like a game-specific cohesive plot that wasn't just loosely following the events of the movie? Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Essentially, yeah. What story would be fitting for the Crescential levels? Hmm. I'm trying to think about, like, what, what you're basically doing in the Crescential levels. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I have to sit on that. I guess one idea... Man, I don't know. I don't know, because a lot of that level is just like... Causing general mayhem. <laughs> Movie just kind of breezes right past past Chris Sanchez. Yeah, I mean it's it's literally just a, a shit. I forgot to start the splits again. Um, yeah, it's it's literally just a the the port to the rest of the adventure. They just needed another setting for a level. I don't know. The, the only thing that comes to mind really is like gathering the crew for the ship, I guess. Because if I'm thinking like game specific story, like Silver's here from level one. So that's already fucked. Like the fact that Jim knows Silver and has Morph is already like that's the that's the, the movie continuity fucked. So if we're oh my god dude dude come on if we're to assume that this is just how the game story goes then you could say like they go to Crescentia to gather the rest of Silver's crew basically because um, that's the crew that is hired on the ship in the first place Which would kind of make sense, given the... Uh, like, the fact that you're, like, running from cops nightside and shit. Jimbo, you'll find these here green energies wherever you roam. Collect enough of them. Oh, the stars are the line for these boats. Yes. Oh my god, that's ooh. I've tried that jump several times before and immediately ate shit and was like con like convinced that that was going to go the same way. I'm surprised that not only that worked, but that like it worked as perfectly as it did. Cuz that's some like I don't know, if I could figure out how the fuck I did that so clean. That, that could be, like, a very small... Oh, come on! 
I hit X. You lying piece of shit. I hit X. God. Now the game's out to get me. Yummy inputs. And somehow I fucked up that much, but I'm still ahead. That first run of, of Cliff Tops must have been bad. I don't remember it going quite that bad. Oh, for as poorly as that went, that was a 14 second save on that segment. Cool. And it can still get more, much more clean than that. Well, okay, I started it a little late, so that's not completely accurate, but I'm sure that that time is perfectly achievable. There we go. Clean. Ooh. Please just get all the dribbloons and hit the jump nice and clean. Oh my god. No, come on. That was so clean. That wasn't good enough. Game. There we go. Fuck. Maybe I can still salvage this. I have to not miss a damn thing after this, though. Shit. That doesn't bode well. Might be okay. Shit. Oh no. Oh. Ah, fuck. Okay, well, I'm going back for that. No, 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 I don't have to. Have to do the time trial, the time trial anyway. Also, want to fix the continuity on Montressor as well. So you you basically want to make the fucking game more accurate to the movie, huh? Because I gotta say that's pretty that's pretty ambitious, but I mean I'm behind you 100. percent I I will I will play test whatever you need if I can. <laughs> Also adding an extra stuff to fill out the game more. That's awesome. There we go. Now I just gotta finish this. Nice. 
No, I gotta stop doing that shit. I really have to temper how much I'm hitting triangle in those those segments where I'm skipping cutscenes on the solo server. Because that shit happens. Damn, two whole minutes. Almost three minutes. Shit, it's amazing what happens <laughs> to your to your best segment or your best time in that segment when you don't fucking have to reset the entire race just to hit one jump for three coins. All right, now the real trick, the real hat trick is doing that and this level nice and clean. Never mind. At least that's not even the worst of it. I just have to, I have to land this fucking jump. And not miss stupid shit like that. Nice. Alright. Oh, I shouldn't have fucking... Uh, I'm really worried that my <laughs> me dropping the sail was what caused that. My hands just had a panic moment. No. Also bad. Long message. It's okay, I'll read it in a second. I gotta stop hitting that fucking... That's also part of my problem. I keep hitting that that boost, and I'm, I'm building up way too much speed. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh this this jump. This jump and fuck, it's really just the first two solar surfers. The first two solar surfer levels are just the worst. Fuck me. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. This one's dead. Not doing that. Fuck. I wonder... Wait. Is there a way to... That is not my best segment. That was when I was doing testing. Fuck. Oh, well. I need to figure out splits more. From Untrusted, I'm picturing the game starting out... Uh, with his little joyride like the movie did, but he screws up even harder and breaks some stuff. Ending up with him being put on community service work and he's got a little reboot, or reboot, reboot robot following him around to monitor him. Community service to give him video gamey stuff to do and the robot monitoring him to replace more for the early levels. I, I like that. I like that. I like that. That's a very, that's a very... Yeah, that's a, that's a very unique uh, way to context or way to add context. I don't know if anyone would know, but does anyone know if there's a way to just like time one split? Like just one segment without like erasing the the split or like doing the whole uh the whole run again. I don't know. <laughs> I 
just my, my inexperience with the program is is on full display. most treasured possession. Collect around hundred of them in each area that you reach, and you'll activate another beacon. Alright, come on, just get this clean. Please! Why can't it ever just be clean? Okay, I kind of cleaned it up. Find these here green energies wherever you roam. Collect enough of them, and it's a beacon you'll be getting. That that was an interesting an interesting reaction to that ledge because I've never been able to grab that fucking ledge before for whatever reason. Every time I thought Jim was gonna grab it, he just didn't. So I just assumed he couldn't. pretty clean so far, just not... Opening bit struggled a little bit. This is mostly, mostly pretty clean. Still not a totally accurate time, because I keep fucking forgetting to start this, the timer when I'm supposed to. Ah, fuck, I keep... Ah. <laughs> I'm zoning out at the worst times. That was nice and clean. Holy shit. Okay, so I can I can jump cancel Jim out of that fucking flip that he does. And then do my own jumping shit. Ah oh, fuck. Come on. You gotta be fucking kidding me. That one, after I just made that clean jump. If I fuck this Dribloon jump up, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, it runs dead. That, that's why I titled the stream that. If I'm bad at the Solar Surfer levels, I just reset. This is what I need to practice the most right now. Ooh. Ooh. That's it. That was clean. Jolly one twerk, 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 jolly one twerk. Thank you, Bryo. 
Thank you so much. The 38 months. Thank you. You subbed at the exact time that I made that fucking clean Solar Surfer jump. Finally. Damn, I wish I got that Sunbeam. Because that's going to happen if I don't have enough speed. Fuck. No! Oh, fuck. I don't even know if you can go under those. I'm not brave enough to try. Actually, you know what? I am brave enough to try. For science. No, you can't. <laughs> Ugh. Alright, yeah. I snagged that fucking clean jump and I have to reset. Oh well, this is why we practice. Bye, you. Since when do you hunt world records? I don't hunt world records. I, I am... am I, I am after this world record for Treasure Planet because I love this game and uh, there's only one world there's only one record in both categories so I'm taking them fuck I didn't even <sighs> no hang on <laughs> I'm just resetting <laughs> I forgot to put the timer on <laughs> Again, I didn't even stop it when I quit last time. Ugh, I'm sorry if if you can hear any of the weird crackling that's going on while the game boots up. Why is that like that? There's one... There's one audio channel on the console. It just constantly has noise coming to it. Why is that? You guys don't hear anything weird, do you? Because I'm getting like two... It looks like one channel... in the console audio input... It's catching something constantly. You'll be looking. No problem. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for coming out. For Crescentia, my current idea for is for Jim to come across a game slash mod original Den of Thieves, and he wants to be the hero who gets to drop on their operation only for him to mess up an ongoing sting operation. Ooh. For much of the movie, there's an emphasis on Jim feeling like a screw-up, so it makes... Uh... It makes sense for him to keep making mistakes. Yeah, that's a good idea. It definitely didn't almost forget. Or fuck, man. Oh my god. Whatever. Whatever. I just hit the wrong goddamn buttons and everything. Didn't know there was a Treasure Planet game for the PS2. I know there was one for PS1, and it used a lot of similar code from the Stuart Little game in terms of the LODs. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I I didn't I knew that this game existed because I grew up with it. For a long time, I didn't know that the PS1 game existed. But yeah, uh, uh, welcome in. Uh, Sozuka, welcome in. I have uh, your first time chatter. Spacefarer's most treasured possession. Collect around hundred of them in each area that you reach, and you'll activate another beacon. Time for clean. Time for clean. 
We had clean Solar Surfer. Now it's time for clean crates. Clean crates. Clean! Why the fuck didn't that jump happen? That should have worked. Why didn't it work? Wasn't Treasure Planet a failure commercially? Oh, don't get me started. Don't even get me started. Jimbo, you'll find these here green energies wherever you roam. Collect enough of them, and it's a beacon you'll be getting. Ooh, I didn't trust that. <laughs> that that one had death written all over it. I saw like the Sekiro kanji. Out of my way, robot. No! Okay. Yeah, uh, oh my hummel. Damn. I even started the fucking timer late, and that wasn't better than my last time. Come on. Bad. Stinky. Not skipping in time. Oh yeah, that's better. That's way faster. I gotta do that. Got it. We got this. We got this. Just one big jump. And I missed a bunch of coins. Perfect. Okay. I think I'm getting the idea for where I need to jump. Like, what angle I need to be at. Oh, come on. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, I just can't catch a break. 
yeah th this whole game is just a it's just linear level by level basis um, borrows a lot from Jack and Daxter in terms of uh, like platforming and uh, just a kind of basic mission structure uh, objectives for like the same and for like collectathons in general. Okay. For the first time in almost 40 minutes, I remember to hit the fucking the starting button. Get the impression uh, in the movie that Jim had any part in, in the hiring of the crew. No, no, no. It was uh, yeah, it was it was Doppler the, that hired the crew. It was all him. Uh, Doppler did that on his own, totally not realizing he was hiring a bunch of pirates. Yeah, that was the whole uh, the whole point in the confrontation between uh, Captain Amelia and him was that he's in a inexperienced you know book smart street dumb professor who hired a a, a, a clearly sketchy crew of pirates thinking that they were just sailors or spacers so that one level do you need 100 coins to finish the level um no i'm i'm practicing the uh the route for the I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna I'm gonna lose it all. Lose it all. Lose it all. That's it for me. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I'm trying to clean up the my 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 early game for for this speed run. If I cannot clean up my early game, I can't hope to be consistent towards late game. I don't. I don't want my. I don't want my record. I, I don't want my my eventual world record uh, run to be a fluke. I want to get it because I earned it. If Jim was part of the hiring process, I'm sure he would have noticed something was off with. Oh no, I, Jim would have noticed fucking Silver, because that, that 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 was the first time you see Silver in the galley. He's immediately on to him because he's like, oh, Billy Bones told me about. Beware the cyborg. Uh. So he'd be, you know, he'd see silver and he'd be mega sus immediately. Fuck, I didn't mean for that enemy to get in my way. Or for that to happen. Maybe I can clean that part of the run up. Or, or, or like, do, root that a little differently so that I'm not constantly fighting for my opportunity to get over to the boat. Maybe it'd be better if I just, like, didn't go for that crate off on the side and then just went straight for the boat and then got the crate on the side when I'm going towards the door. Fuck me. Wherever you roll. Collect enough of them, and it's a beacon you'll be getting. Oh, come on, corner. Dude. Oh, but if I do... If I do route it like that, I might fuck up the timing on these boats, I, I'm, I'm realizing. Right. 
Seems like a pretty quiet game considering the board. Say you're the only active burner. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, the TLDR of why I'm even running this. I'm not a speedrunner. I this is my first attempt at any kind of speedrun. Um, but the the fact of the matter is, like, I was like looking at other. I was just I was just curious. I was looking for like, oh, I wonder what games I've played in my childhood or like that I have a good a close connection to that I've that have been run maybe a couple times and don't have like a very active community around it that I maybe could try and get a good, you know, speed run in or maybe try the world record. And then I found this game, which literally had one record in two categories uh, that the records had been set five years ago by one person and then were never improved on after that point. Um, so I like, and then I did some digging into the the person that had those records. They, uh, without saying anything specific, they they had uh, been banned from speedrun.com and from Twitch after some controversy. Um, so I looked into all that and I was like, okay, so we've got this game I love with one runner who set a record five years ago and then stopped running it, who now can't participate, and the run, the record has been completely uncontested. Oh, what the fuck was that? That was a weird bounce. Um, completely fucked me up. Uh, okay, uh, the, the record was is completely uncontested for five years, so I'm, I'm like, fuck, well... I guess that means that I should try and claim the record. Why did I jump there? This is, this is already turning out stinky. The only saving grace is that I haven't started the race yet, or otherwise I would have reset already. Two of them from the outside. <sighs> it's dead. It's dead. Sorry. <laughs> I need I need to clean up these these levels. In terms of the speedrun, fuck, I didn't mean to go into this. In terms of the speedrun, are there any game mechanics that aren't well understood how they work? So it's interesting you say that. Colt here has actually been, coincidentally, uh, has been modding the game um, in his free time and uh, has answered a question about the uh, one of the things that I've noticed in the game or one of the things I found on my own on accident. Um, but like there really isn't any tech for this game as far as I know it, it literally is just the only people that have run this the only person that has run this basically in, in any sort of capacity got nuked off the internet uh, and the only VODs I have to watch to learn this route don't have commentary because the commentated versions were on his Twitch which was also deleted so I can't access any of those VODs and there aren't even any VODs of the 100% category so I just have to completely make those up from scratch um, so if there's any if there's any tech I don't know it um, that being said there is one thing that we learned i learned it on accident but then uh colt was able to answer why exactly it happened um there's one section earlier or uh, or there's one section later on yeah fuck it i'm gonna just try and see if i can i did not wait for that to start moving 
fuck. Nah, I know. Um, you're not concerned that every runner that has submitted a run for this game to the board has been nuked from the internet? Well, sure, the the board has a hundred percent uh nuke rate, but <laughs> I don't plan on on doing anything that allegedly this person did. So I don't think I I don't think I'm gonna have that problem. I was actually good at 3D platformer games. I would probably probably would have attempted to speedrun this, but I'm not good at 3D platformer games, and I'm terrible at this game casually. Oh, I mean, I'm not amazing at it. I just played 3D platformers all my life, so I like this one. <laughs> not necessarily tech-wise, but you know, numbers or logic-wise, like knowing damage formulas in RNG or RP in in an RPG or such. Uh, no, I don't know anything of that. I I don't know... The only way I know how to manipulate, like, patterns is by just, you know, taking a quick death. I don't know if there's any way to manipulate RNG. Nothing like that. Literally just the, the best skip I know is do I die so that I don't have to watch the beacon cutscene play out? and spawn somewhere closer to where I need to go next, or do, do I just keep moving? That's that's the extent of the tech. Okay, maybe it is just a better idea to go for this. I just gotta clean that part up. That was nice. It was nice and clean. Is RNG a significant factor in the run? I, like I said, I have no idea. It might be. There's there's several sections where I see uh, in in the in Jumpy Luff, the world record holder. There's there's a couple parts in his vod uh, that I notice that he dies before some segments and my only guess is just that he's dying so that like platform patterns or cycles reset so that they're more favorable when he gets there um but that's that's about it I, I I trust me I've I've done as much searching as I possibly can for any kind of advice for like running this game or, or doing tricks in this game there this honestly treasure planet for playstation 2 as far as the internet concerns is concerned barely exists the only way that you find any sort of information on this game is if you look at long plays on youtube or look at ebay listings If anyone knows any tech, I am my ears are wide open. That was clean. I think that's the fastest I've gotten, Delilah. Yeah, um, yeah, the beacons are like the stars in Mario 64. Um, basically the this is this is the any percent run, so it's it's literally just I need enough beacons to be able to clear the world like requirement because every level has a, a beacon requirement. Um, yeah, every every level has a beacon requirement, so you just you just gotta have enough total beacons by the time you get to the next level if you want to progress. Um, and it is 61 out of 85 to beat the game. That could have gone better. I 
I think I gotta double tap the jump button to get Jim out of that animation. Shit. I thought I just cleared it. We pray for clean. We pray for clean jumps. Yes! Oh, so clean! Beautiful. Beautiful. That is what we want all the time. Speed. Ah, fuck. I can't miss that second speed boost. Or I just kiss that whole section goodbye. See, that's probably the the only that, that's probably that's a section where I wish I knew <laughs> if RNG manipulation was a thing. I did not. You are lying to me. I did not mash triangle enough to fall like that. So we have to get two beacons in level one to unlock level two, and two beacons in level two to unlock level three. Would getting four beacons in level one unlock level three? Yes. That's kind of the whole point. Like there are some, there's like one or two levels later on where I literally go in to get two beacons, or there's one level in I think the second to last world where you literally go into the level, get one beacon, and leave immediately. Because I guess it's it's just an easy, a really easy beacon to get. It's it's nice and quick. You get one beacon, then you're into the next level. Because you only need one beacon from the rest of the route to get uh, to the next level and just get a bunch of them. So it doesn't matter what levels you get them from. It's just all cumulative. I fucking hate that I missed that. This isn't even the hard green energy to get in this level. Alright, come on. One go. I'm gonna cry my pants. I'm doing the rest of the level. God, I missed that fucking doubloon. Hate and anger.
Oh god, I almost missed the rail. The, the the hitbox on the solar surfer is so big but it gets really small when it wants to wait Cole can you see are, are you able to see uh, hitboxes like hitbox data that seems like something that you you would be able to see right I really hope that that was all the Balloons. I didn't see if I got them all. This is fucking slow as shit. What I'm doing now. No, come on. <laughs> Dude! I know I'm still ahead of my my time that I got for the 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 VOD record that I submitted. What am I trying to say? I know I'm still technically faster, but that doesn't mean screw up and waste time. Okay. I spent most of my time looking at this game's code focused on just the file loading code. I haven't really got given gameplay code a look through. Or thorough. Thorough look. Spaceport. I'm pretty sure that most things related to platforms are timing slash cycle based, not RNG. Still not satisfied with the two zoomer levels, but I say the, uh, at least for the time being, those were, uh, good enough to not kill the run. I might, I might still have a run on my hands. Barring any disqualifications for forgetting to fucking turn splits on. I don't know if I timed it exactly right this time, or... If I did remember to start it when I started the file, I think I did. No, god damn it, I got stuck on the light pole. Okay, well that's great. <laughs> Excellent. I love doing that. Man, and you know, I wish the camera in this game didn't also suck ass. engine used for any other PS2 games, do you know? Uh, I have... I, I assume that's a question for Colt, because I have absolutely no idea. No, come on. This one. Oh, 
No, no, hit the switch. No, James, please. Dude, three times in a row? Oh, and I'm running the wrong way, perfect. You are absolutely shitting me. Runs dead. <laughs> Runs dead. Runs dead after that. That's not happening. <laughs> I, I fucking died before I had the last green energy. That is bullshit. I should not have done that jump. Okay, I, I'm, I'm getting a little... <laughs> just a little upset at this fucking first beacon, because sometimes I swear it's not... Why am I facing it? Why am I facing it? Um, Sometimes I swear it doesn't go off when I should be close enough to it, and then when I am definitely too clo er, close enough to it, it sometimes it, like, loads. It takes a second for it to proc, and I hate that. If that even slightly fucked with the timing of these boats, I'm gonna be mad. Hi, honey. Am I what? <laughs> no. Try a couple more runs. No, I might try a couple more like practice runs through the first couple levels. I don't, I don't, I, I'm definitely not finishing a a run tonight, but that's okay. Oh, Colt, were you able to answer the question of uh, about the the hitboxes? J just that, like, can, can are you able to see like what the like a uh, the player character's hitboxes are? Because I'm really curious to know if um. Yeah, I basically need to be touching it. Um. I would really, I'm really curious to know if, if the, the surfer, what the hitbox on that looks like. Because I, I, I get the feeling that sometimes, sometimes it feels like the sail itself is part of the hitbox, or it has its own hitbox. Collect around hundred of them in each area that you reach, and you'll activate another beacon. Especially like in the hydro dam where I'm... Uh, flying past the, the pillars like so fast that I can barely get the droop balloon on the other side. I, I, I'm... It, it feels like sometimes the sail is like ugh, fuck, wide enough out that it gets it. And then other times it feels like the sail just completely disappears from the, from the hitbox. Surely the sail has its own hitbox because you can lower it. Well, I, well, I guess specifically what I mean is like, is the hitbox flat like with the sail 
because I know that it, it has to have a hitbox, obviously, because you have to drop it so that you don't blow up under uh, tight corridors. But like, does is is the hitbox like flat like the sail, and does it move with the sail itself? Because depending on how those hitboxes move, de uh, will determine how I need to approach those uh those those like quick flyby grabs. <laughs> Haven't really delved into actor hitboxes. That's fine. I I was I was more curious if 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 you had the ability to. I don't know why I was going that way. The good old moving past a collision body between frames. I will nod and pretend that I know what that means. Go, trap loons, lad. I like I, I get like half of that. Possession. Collect a round hundred of them in each area that you reach, and you activate another beacon. Oh my god, dude. I, I don't... Ooh, I don't get it. Do I need to be waiting longer before I take that jump? So I've, I've done it like that before and it's worked out fine. Basically imagine that the sail is static and the collectible is the object moving. Uh, the collectible moves so fast that it's in front of the sail. Oh, on one frame and then behind it the next, so it never actually collides on any particular frame. I see what you mean. Okay. This might be the last attempt I do, just to see how far it goes before I like fuck up majorly. Because I, I kind of, I, I got got some decent practice and I, I kind of wanted to do some other things tonight though. But we'll see what happens. Spacefarer's most treasured possession. Collect a mm, yes, get caught on rocks. In each Beats. area that you reach, and you activate another beacon. Okay, that was nice and clean. Ooh, okay, okay, I, I see. The the jump timing I, I need to practice was right there. That That's the jump timing that gets me through, like, the harder skips. Because that second jump really seems to get some good height when the, uh, the kick comes, like, almost immediately after. Jimbo, you'll find these here green energies wherever you roll. They're like still on a rhythm. There's still a That's rhythm to it. Enough. And it's a beacon you'll be getting. Um. Okay. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I died there. Jim got crushed between the boats. I. I mm, that's new. I've never died like that. <laughs> That's such bullshit. <laughs> mm.
that's 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 my sign that's my sign that today's just not the day we got some good practice in i genuinely though that that, that this was good because i needed 100 percent needed to uh practice the the jumps on the first two solar surfer levels i'm still not even 100 percent satisfied i'm not even like 20 percent satisfied with them